Alright, welcome back to the show. The success of Dress here. We're going to continue on with some medieval dynasty. Um, in today's episode, we're going to go get that free bow. Maybe maybe wander around the countryside over here looking for some treasures and seeing what the people in these general little towns look like uh, as far as recruiting. Um, and then maybe we'll come and do some village layout issues so let's let's go ahead and get started so the easiest way to get to places you want to go they do have a handy feature um where you can set a waypoint it's only one waypoint at a time so don't worry about getting lost I always just aim for that waypoint um and ignore the quest waypoint that's what we're doing today we're not going to worry about the quest now I know I had the waypoint set over there but what I'm going to do first is look on this little island. Um, sometimes there's a, a treasure chest. Oh, there's a shovel. There might have been a shovel over here. Usually if I'm in the water, I, that, that's just habit, drinking the water. Um, when I have water use turned on, it's just a habit. So to drink when I'm running through the water. All right. I don't see it here. So... Sometimes, maybe in your game, there will be a shovel and a pile of rocks right here, and in the pile of rocks will also be some gold. So, be sure to check that out. That's that's the one I've found so far. Um, there are other resources on the the web where you can just look up maps where the treasures are. Um, I like to try to do it a little bit organically and find them, unless I'm doing treasure hunting. Then I might pull up the map. Um, there's an interactive map. I think it's a little off. Most of the maps I've found are slightly off. Either they don't have all the locations, or I can't confirm the locations because the um, the spawns are random, right? Like that spawn back there. It's always a spawn, but it's random if something's going to spawn in it um, in the current season. And I don't know what the rotation is. So, like every season, you could literally go around and check um, all the spots. Now, bear in mind, if you find one, it takes at least a couple seasons for it to go away. Maybe a year. I'm not sure exactly. I guess I could have sprinted through the water. I don't know why I was walking so slow. Alright. Up and down the moon. I don't see a cart anywhere. I'm hoping that during this time I'll uh, come across a, a camp or something. That would be nice. Got some good loots. What we'll do is we'll just go up this road. Maybe we'll find a cart. Here we go. We found a cart. I was just talking about it. So, for the carts, this one looks like it's got fours. So, there's some ten. You want to look all around the cart. Even a ways off. Um, sadly, highlighting doesn't show any of the stuff that you can pick up. But look, here's a free torch. More tin ore. Copper ore. And a free pickaxe. Nice. Now, the, the durability on all the items that you find at these locations can change. You can find an iron axe at 100% and then an iron axe at 10%. So, yeah. Or it could be a stone axe. You know, so the quality and the quant and the durability of whatever you find, and this won't always have the same stuff. So we could find, like in your game, if it, if it happens to be there, uh, and you find it, um, it could have different things. The building with the free bow—that's what we—that's what we're going for. We're going for that free bow. All right, so. You've got the village over there, right? 
And you want to get to it before you get too close to the village because the guy that lives there, he spawns in the village and then he walks to his little hut. So, if you come to this hut, it's a hunter's hut, right? Come up here. Not in there. All right. I always like to sneak because you're going to have to go into this chest and rob it. And free bow, some free leather, and some free arrows. There we go. So now we got a, a bow, which will make hunting a thousand times easier. One thousand times. We'll go into our inventory. We'll equip the bow, and the bow's always good. Make sure our own arrows are equipped. That way we will use them. Do I have to make a spear? I'm just going to make a spear in there. I don't really use the spears once I steal the bow. Maybe against a wolf. Um, let's go ahead and put the spear where it belongs. Wood. There's a tomb. That's where my melee weapons go. Alright. So. Now that we've stolen us a bow, we'll walk around with the bow, that's cool. You can actually sell your stolen goods, just don't sell them in the town that you steal them from. Um, that's the hunter guy right there. So, also in these local towns, there are villagers. If you look at the mini map, you'll see like a little person icon. They're recruitable characters, and also the women you can um, flirt with. If you go into inspector mode, you can see what their skills are. So she's whoops. So she Delabora is a Two in excavation, a two in hunting, a two in farming, a one in diplomacy, a one in survival, and one in crafting. I don't usually recruit them unless they have a three. That's the highest that you can get um, a skill from these people. I haven't seen anybody higher. Now, this guy, I would definitely recruit. He's got four level three skills. Hunting, survival, diplomacy. Diplomacy is for your merchants, so we're going to have to keep this guy in mind for when we have a house to put him in. Um, he's definitely on the do higher list. He's got four level three skills, so we will keep him in mind. Now we're going to go over to, we're going to back our way from Branica to Baranica to Borowu down to Gustavia to finish our quest, right? Um, once we do that, we'll probably get quests in these other little towns that we can do, but that will. Uh, oh, here's a wagon, though. See, it's a good thing we came back to the road. Let's see, that's good for selling. What else we got here? Some fur. You get this. Is that it? Not a lot. I think they get better as we, we go along. The overturned carts don't usually have a lot of great stuff in them. Now the ones that will have some really good stuff, um, you'll come across carts that have arrows in them. They will they tend to have some better stuff than those the carts that we've found so far. So we'll head over here. See what this person looks like. Self-defense. Alright, she's twos and ones, so we will not worry about coming to recruit her. So, in your village, in your houses, um, let's look. Go to management, we'll go to houses. So, it says I can have three people in a house. 
that's kind of misleading. Well, it's not really misleading. I mean, you can have three people. But you can have a man, a woman, and a child. Um, if you get the bigger houses, you can have up to four people in them. So, But that's two children. And it's always a man and a woman. You can't put two men in the house, and you can't put two women in the house. Uh, unless they're children. So, keep that in mind when you're building a house and recruiting these people. And if we recruit nothing but a bunch of men or nothing but a bunch of women, you have to have an individual house for each one. <laughs> so, try to split it up. Try to make it so you have a man and a woman that are, that are decent at whatever job they are. And also, try to put people in houses. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so to avoid having a bunch of houses, no, that's not it. So when you're planning out where you're putting villagers, also try to put villagers with the same level of skills in the same houses, right? So you want your craftsmen in the same house together as, as, as close as possible. Um, that way when they have children, they get the benefits of the parent skills. This guy's a three in diplomacy. I don't need you right away. And you're a three in diplomacy. Definitely don't need either one of those. Because market stalls are further down the tree. It's nice to meet you. Let's see what her quest is. Can you help her with an errand? What's it about? And Alright, she wants me to gather some plants. Let's uh, and white flag. Colonel, let's see, old rags. What's she want? Leather. Ten leather. Alright, so we already have three. That's not too hard to get though. We just kill some deer. Alright. So nobody here to recruit. Um, we have a guy over there. I'm gonna come down to here. It'd be really nice if I could find um abandoned camp. So, Vison, the bison, give me some bison. But they're hard to kill, even with this little thing. You have to get headshots on them. Let's see. Actually, let's see if I can kill this guy before he kills me. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if I can kill him. That was close. And I lost most of my arrows. Like, I shot him three and only got one back. But that'll give me a time to show you what these broadleaf plantains are for. Um, which I always like to keep a bunch on hand. And I have 40. Uh, so if you take some damage, you just come and eat these um and they'll give you two health per later on you can use them to make health potions I, just, I won't be hunting those guys um actually did i uh, i have enough leather let's just go ahead and turn in this quest oh yeah i don't have to um come back up here 
is the sheep herder. There you go. So I got a linen thread. 25 coin. And some rep good rep positive reputation. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm upset about my arrows because I can't make arrows yet. Um, once I get the woodcutter at the, the hunter's lodge up and running, I can make arrows to replace them. But might not be doing too much hunting until then. Over. Let's look at these folks. See what they look like. So we got a guy and a dog here. She's a three as a farmer and three in production. We'll keep her in mind. And he's another good dude. So we'll get both of these from here. These will be our farmer, uh, you know. He's a good crash person too, so. We'll definitely get them out. We'll figure out what we have them do later. Oh, where the fuck is it? There? She's walking up here. Um, you used to be able to marry. Where'd she go? Ida, the chicken. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to meet you. You used to be able to marry the villagers. There's a girl that sold, that sells the chickens now. Um, but they made all the in villagers unable to be married you can only marry the little villagers you can recruit which is okay wrong man what's it all right so she usually wants me to get meat or something yeah she wants five meat i have 25 here you go easy task so i got coin and some reputation for an easy easy quest <laughs> like some of these quests are easy the, the ones that are a pain in the butt are like hunt the wolves um th those quests those quests are annoying now i there's a bridge down there i never take the bridges i don't take i hardly ever take bridges i just run through the water i always run through the water and and there's there's reasons for that, right? There's several good reasons. Um, it's how you clean yourself when you get dirty. Um, if you have water loss and hunger loss, you also gain, you can drink. Um, and once you get like the water walking, uh, the water sprinting skill, you don't, it's not even that slow getting through the water. Um, And plus, sometimes the bridges are just out of the way, to be honest. Alright, so. There's Alwyn somewhere around here. So, uh, there's Alwyn. This guy is a three and a three, so we might get him too. He's a survivalist in the extraction. We can make him our lumber guy. So I gotta give the kid a stick. If I keep reading all the quests, I'm gonna run out of time to get this other quest person. Hello, traveler. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right. So what does he want? I've never seen that quest before. Um, he wants me to give him money and I get reputation for it. At this point in the game, money is, man, I only have 150 coins. He wants 87 of them. Um, so I'll just hold off on doing this. The quest will last until the end of the season. Once the season changes, I can't, the quest will fail. And I'm not sure if there's any downside to failing a quest maybe the quest giver doesn't give you one for a while i don't know i'm not sure what the 
the outside to fail and maybe you lose some um, dynasty reputation but that's easy to get back so and a lot of times you can't see what the objectives are I mean they'll give you some kind of hint but he said he needed some money I didn't know how much money now I know 87 that's a lot of money so I will not complete this quest even though I could and then here we go here's the Renega story Remember, I'm, this is the um, the story where Unigas, where I'm supposed to give his wife, let his wife know that I finished my house, and she's supposed to give me some food and some beer for him. Um, yeah, but he said they give me some food. He gave me some porridge, which is okay. I don't really need it. I'm just going to flip through this real quick. I've already read all of this. So. Unagas came. He was in a traveling group. Um, she's a lot younger. He's older. She's 32. He's, but she stayed and like fell in love with him. And, yeah. And then now she she's got her own little thing. She wants me to go and find out. She ordered some rye for the tavern, um, but it didn't arrive. So she wants us to go check that out. All right. And I could deliver it to him. Now the good thing about quests. Let's not worry about that. Like, I could actually interact with him, even if he goes to bed. Um, so if you have a quest, um, say it's the last day of your season. Say you have a time limit on your season. And you still have a quest, you completed it, but hadn't turned it in. You can interact with the quest people. Like, here, in this, this person. Looks like they're in their beds, right? So they're in their beds. Um, at Elbor too, see? They're all in their beds, sleeping. Normally you can't interact with them, but I can go, hey, kid, wake up. Go get up. I'm like, hey, here's your stick. Quit being the pain in the butt to the little girl. And, yep, that's done. I can go, hey, you know, I can just wake them up. And they'll wake up and let me do the quest. Uh, she's in a bad mood. Um, I'm supposed to, I sh the delivery guy's pretty prompt. I should probably go talk to him and see what's up. He lives in another town. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Let's go. Alwyn's story. I get a flat red out of it. And I can talk to him. Because his, his is important. Because, like... Well, actually, it's not too important to do it. Because I can't talk to him again. I'll solve your problem. He's like, cool, thanks. Here's some bread. I'll see you next summer. So I have to wait until the summer to talk. And then, like a lot of these story quests, let me go back to these, these three stories. Like I have 18 years, six years, 18 years to do them. So you don't have to feel rushed into doing these right away. Um, the side quests are the ones that only last for the season. So keep that in mind. My diplomacy should have gone. So... I don't need to worry about that. That's easy to get. So I'm going to get some diplomacy knowledge. What I want to do is increase my barter skill here. Then all of the... There's only like two things in tier two. Everything this else is tier three. Oh, there's a tier four for this one. 
but but we're gonna get some barter lower the prices get better prices when we're selling um, You know, we're, we'll worry about him later. I'll probably do his off camera. Da, 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 da. All right. Well, actually, we'll we'll cut this one here. Um, again, like, subscribe, comment, and um, stay tuned for the next thrilling episode of Medieval Dynasty. Where we didn't get to it, but we'll get back to town. And we'll get back to town and we'll do some town layout stuff. It's not going to be super fun, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. With that being said, peace.